Okay. Yep. See, here's a little bit of my challenge and my pushback. Okay. I know I can get nice stuff in the ninety thousand dollar, whatever. Yeah. They put me in a loaner at, mm -hmm. and it was an. Okay. And to me, it had basic tech. So, yeah. Oh, I would much rather have this level of safety and tech equipment than versus the basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get an idea of I I know that price points vary, but yeah. also what. Yeah. What yeah. can your average person get not in the platinum eighty ninety thousand dollar version of things? Cool. Remind me what what are we in? So this is the twenty twenty four Traverse RS. What does RS mean? Rally Sports. It's a little bit of an appearance package on the Traverse. You get a little bit more features in it though as well. Okay. So is that like how do I get this pretty? The red stitching is that RS? That's all the RS package. Is there different colors? There is not different colors, unfortunately. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I like pretty, but really, I'm in my car a lot. I want tech, and it's also really dangerous out on these Dallas roads. A little bit. So a little bit. I would really love the rundown on, like, all the tech and safety features. Cool. Yeah. So this has lane keep assist to keep you in your lanes. Um, also, blind spot monitoring are on the mirrors as well, too. Okay, pause. I get blind spot monitoring. I hear about this lane assist. What does that mean? What does that feel like? What is that... Yeah, basically, so what it is when enabled, which is right here on the Traverse, okay. when it's actually lit up orange, it's enabled. So what it does is if you're drifting out of your lane a little bit, whether you're paying attention to the road or not, it'll shift you back over to your lane. And on the RS, your seat will actually vibrate as well. What if I'm trying to change lanes? Then you have to flip your blinker on and you'll actually change lanes. Okay. Now, if your steering wheel is tilt a certain degrees, it'll actually detect that you're actually trying to change lane without your blinker. It'll let you on over. So it's got like sensors. It's yep. watching the watching the roads, striped lines. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is optioned with Super Cruise. So if this is enabled, it'll keep you in your lane, detect all the different cars around you, and basically drive for you as long as your hands are still on the wheel and you're focused on the road. Also, there's a little camera right here just to make sure that you're actually paying attention to the road as well. Good. So with Super Cruise, you get adaptive cruise. So basically, adaptive. if the car in front okay. of you is going 40 miles an hour and the speed limit's 45. It's not just going to keep going 45. It's going to detect that that car is going 40 and basically slow you down to just be following that car in front of you. That sounds crazy. <laughs> is that standard on all of your vehicles? What's so the... some of the vehicles have it. Some of them don't. It kind of really just depends on the model and the trim. Now, this is the RS. This is the top trim for the Traverse. So it's going to have all the safety features, all the bells and whistles and everything as well. Okay. And mm -hmm. this crazy, ridiculous looking screen. Yes. So 360 camera as well. So if you're getting close to an object in front of you, the front camera will turn on. Close to an object behind you, it'll turn on as well. Oh, and you've got this camera up here too. Yes, ma'am. So this is the rear view camera. So I can zoom in, zoom out, uh, change how high and how tall it is as well. Does it ever look like a normal? Or a normal mirror? Yeah. <laughs> All it is is the switch on the bottom. Android, Apple. Yep, so standard, standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Um, you do have your My Chevrolet, which you can control the vehicle on your cell phone. You can lock, unlock, start, track, see how much gas you have, tire pressure, everything like that. So that's all controlled through the My Chevrolet. Um, you do have Google Maps, which comes on the vehicle. We'll go here. So you have your full display there, and then Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will take up that whole display as well. Um, if I go over to vehicle status, this is where I'm going to see a bunch of stuff on my vehicle here. So you'll see everything here. Um, the big thing is maintenance coming up as well. So if your brake pads, your tire pressure is getting low, your oil life, and your engine air filter life as well. That's impressive. But I want to see what your other setups are like. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Parking assist. Left. It detects it right there. The wheel is spinning. He's fixing a camera. It's uh, the steering wheel is just moving itself. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of crazy. Backing up. Stay alert. Did you push the brake? Nope. Now <laughs> I did. Did it itself. Wow. You know, wireless charging pad, super cruise, crash detection, folding mirrors, Bose sound system. I can change the display up here. Oh, there's a Bose sound system? We yeah. didn't even get to that. I think the seatbelts did help with the park assist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.